It might be a National Front stronghold, but there's no shortage of opposing opinions in the town of Enombomont. This eye-catching display by topless feminists, though, was quickly covered up. Police surrounded them in seconds and moved them away from the cameras. Marine Le Pen's own security guards were keeping watch outside the polling station. They decided it was safer to drive her to the ballot box. It's the first presidential election to take place with the country in a state of emergency. It's also the closest race there's ever been for the Elysee. Every vote counted. This one, though, was cast against her. Marine Tondelier has just published a book about life in the town under the rule of its National Front mayor. She's an opposition councillor. The Front National is trying to make everything perfect, to be on their best behaviour, but in fact they can't manage it all the time, especially during our council meetings. Then there is extreme violence, violence against their opponents, against the local journalists and their employees. Things also got a little heated when one of our interviews with a National Front supporter was interrupted. Why did I vote for Marine Le Pen? Because I want to leave Europe. No, but because you don't have a brain, that's why. And you think you have one? The man who supports the hard-left candidate Jean-Luc Mélenchon wouldn't give up. The screaming match just went on and on, but we would have had to delete a lot of the expletives. This campaign has exposed the deep divisions in French society and the results show that no one single issue has been behind the voting. The people in this town appear bewildered as well as angry. The signs of decline are everywhere in this former mining community. The wounds from this campaign will take a long time to heal. David Chater, Al Jazeera, Pas de Calais.